now let's see how we can apply the drop shadow from the format options. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to select the image and then I'm going to go to format option. And over here, we can see that there's drop shadow as an option right here. And once I tick on it, you can see that there's a bit of a shadow that appears right here, just beneath. If I were to go over here onto the shape, I get the same option. You got a bit of a shadow right here. But if you want to change the settings, you can expand this out. And here you can see that you have various options. You can change the color of the shadow as well. You can change the transparency. So let's just go around and increase the blur radius. You can see that as I increase the blur radius, the shadow becomes much more softer right here. And I can increase the distance right here. And you can see that it increases the distance right there. I can also change around the angle right here. And that is how it works like. I can increase out the distance right here. And that is how it works. So now as I increase and decrease the transparency, you can see that is how it looks. You can increase the transparency, decrease this as well. You can go around and change the color of the shadows as well, as you can see, and you can change around the looks. Same goes for the image. You can go around and change the color of the drop shadow right here. Let's say, for example, you can select red, red and then you can change around the distance right here. You can change around the angle just like this, as you can see, and you can change around the transparency and the blur radius just like that as well. And that is how you can work around with drop shadow effect inside of Google Slides. So hope you guys learn something as always. And as always, please like, comment, share and subscribe.